Hello my lovely people, welcome to another video teacher Gia and today we're going to be tackling another way of handling a 3 times 3 matrix using elementary scheme. Also we'll talk about inverse and how to calculate a classical adjoint using minus cofactors and a transpose. So stay tuned. I hope you've been good and kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, hey, so let's start. A determinant of a 3 times 3 matrix can also be obtained by the following elementary scheme. So you might find the other ones may be difficult for you. So you can use this uh, method that I'm going to show you. So suppose A is equals to A11, A12, A13 up to A33. So what you're going to do, you're going to first rewrite like all this. Uh, aside so a 11 a 12 a 13 a 21 a 22 a 23 a 31 a 32 and a 33 so with this formula you're, fa you're supposed to get the first two columns you write the first two columns that's what i mean so a11 a21 a31 a12 a22 and a32 are the first two columns uh, from these values so i am going to work them out using diagonals like values that form three three values that lie on a diagonal so i hope that makes sense for a11 a22 and a33 they form the three values form a diagonal they have to be three values a12 a23 and a31 and then a13 a21 and a32 so for a21 if you check like either up or down it doesn't form any three values so we're gonna go to a31 it forms a diagonal going up as of mark let me put x's to mark the edges is it the edges the corners so a32 also forms a three value diagonal a332 so those are the, those are the values we're going to use so you can see all of them yeah the the two the two rows have values but a21 doesn't have three value going diagonal so we're not going to use it so in finding determinant this is the formula we're going to take a11 a22 and a33 multiply them plus a12 a23 a31 this is from the first row values from the first row like a11 a12 and a13 plus then the last one a13 a21 and a32 minus we're gonna use the third row a31 a12 a13 plus a32 a22 and a11 plus a33 a21 and a12 so from this formula is how we'll generate the determinant of a so anytime you're given a question uh that you're supposed to work out like suppose a and the values are given this is the formula you're supposed to use in each and every uh solution as you're working out so from here i hope it's clear let me try and make it a bit broad so i'm gonna give you example we're gonna work out with this example like this formula so find uh the determinant that one shows like we, we're supposed to be finding the determinant of the values two negative three negative four negative one four two three ten and one so we're going to use uh, the above formula to work out the determinant of these values. So let's first rewrite. So 
negative 3, 4, 10, negative 4, 2, 1. Then you remember we are using the first two columns. So we've written them there. Then we're going to cancel diagonally for the values that f the rows that form three values diagonally. So there. Then the third row too. So we have, uh, we've already like identified the values we're going to use and then we use the above formula. So determinant will be 2 times 4 times 1. Plus, let me put uh, the outer bracket so that I separate the values. Negative 3 times 2 times 3. Plus, negative 4 times negative 1 times 10. So that's for the first bracket. Then move on to the next. Um, we're going to be using the third row 3 times 4 times negative 4 10 times 2 times 2 plus 1 times negative 1 times negative 3 and then we're going to work out so 2 times 4 is 8 times 1 is 8 Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 times 3 is negative 18. So let me put bracket. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 4 because negative times negative is a positive times 10 is 40. So that's for the first part. Then the second 3 times 4 is 12 Ta times negative 4 is negative 48 plus 10 times 2 is 20 times 2 is 40 plus 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1 times negative 3 is 3 so we have that 8 minus 18 plus 40 minus negative 48 plus 40 plus 3 so that will be 8 plus 40 will be 48 minus 18 that is 30 minus this one will be 40 plus 3 negative 48 plus 43 so we're going to have uh, negative 5 so neg 30 Minus minus 5, that is a positive. So 30 plus 5, our answer will be 35. So our determinant is 35. So let me just put the camera well so that you can see. So our next topic will be classical adjoint. So basically, a classical adjoint of our square matrix A which we denote by adjoint A, is the transpose of the matrix of cofactors of A. So to find cofactors, we have to find the minors. So I have a video where I explained how to calculate the minors, then you find the cofactors, you can check. So about transpose, I had already like talked about it in a previous video. I have a couple of videos that I talked about them, but generally, in linear algebra, the transpose of a matrix is an operation that flips the matrix over its diagonal, switching the rows and columns. If you have a matrix A with dimensions M times N, then the transpose of matrix A will be like N times M, like we just change the rows and the columns. Yeah. So I have like an example. Let's is equals to 1, 3, 2, 
101 compute the adjoint of a so we've said the adjoint is the transpose of the matrix of cofactors of a so we're gonna start by finding the minus so let's jump into it Then I'm going to label them and then so I'm gonna label each of the minors with their position. So M11, M12, M13, M21, M22, M23, M31, M32, then M33, which is the last. So we're gonna find the minors of all these values here. So I'm going to start with M11, which is the first minor. So M11, uh, let me just rewrite all the values uh, aside so that my work is just clean. And then uh, M11, the value that stands there is 1. So... We're going to cancel each row and column where there is 1. And we remain with 1, 0, and 1, 2. So we're going to find the determinant. That is a 2 times 2 matrix. And I'm going to show you like the formula. already. I already talked about it in my previous videos. How to calculate the determinant of a 2 times 2 matrix. Uh, I'm just labeling A11, A12, then A21 and A22. That is the formula that we're going to use to find the determinant of a 2 times 2 matrix. So the formula is A11, A22 minus A12 times A11. So, so A11 is 1 and A22 is 2. So that is 1 times 2 minus uh, 0 times 1. We're going to have 2 minus 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. And that is the minor. M11. So next we move to minus 12. I want to calculate that. Uh, so the value there is 2. So let me just rewrite the values again. So that we see it clearly. M12 is there. Then we cancel each row and column where 2 is. Because there is where we are supposed to calculate minor 12. So we read 3, 0 and 2, 2. Then we will find the determinant using a 2 times 2 matrix formula that I already written there. So it will be 3 times 2 minus 0 times 2. If you don't understand this, please go to my first videos where I explained determinant and showed how somebody is supposed to work out. So if you work out, you get 6 minus 0, which is 6. Then move to M13. I'll write again. So one there. So we're gonna cancel each row and column where one is. We remove three one and two one. So three times one minus one times two. We have three minus two. So once is one. That is M thirteen. Next we move to M twenty one. I'll rewrite again the values. So M21 is at 3. So it's going to cancel each row and column where 3 lies. Then we find the determinant of the 2 times 2 matrix that is remaining. So we'll have 2 times 2. Minus 1 times 1. 
So we'll have 4 minus 1, our answer is 3. Let me just label all of them so that we don't confuse any. M21, sorry. Then I move to M22, I'll just squeeze it. Should I squeeze it at this corner or I just rewrite it again? So at M22, one, we cancel each row and call them where one stands. We remain with one, one, and two, two, so we multiply. One times two minus one times two. We have two minus two, and this is zero. Then we move to M23. I'll write again. We'll cancel each row and column for M23. Then we find the determinants of the 2 times 2 matrix. 1 times 1 minus 2 times 2. We'll have 1 minus 4. That will be negative 3. Then we move to M31. We cancel each row and column. Then for the determinant to get there, M31. So 2 times 0 minus 1 times 1. 2 times 0 is 0 minus 1. That will have negative 1 as M31. Then we, have, we go to M32. So where M32 is, uh, we cancel the each and column. Then I will calculate like 1 times 0 minus 1 times 3. We'll have 1 times 0 is 0 minus 3. We have negative 3 as M32. Then we move to the final one, which is M33. I'll rewrite again. We cancel each run column where M33 stands. So that's to cancel. Then we'll have uh, 1 times 1 minus 2 times 3. We have 1 minus 6. Once is negative 5 as M33. So we have done all the minus. And using these minus, we are going to find the cofactors of all these values again. So we move to cofactors. Also, I want to just state that I had already talked about cofactors in the previous first video that I did, but I'll still do the formula cofactor is equals to negative one power i plus j times uh the minor. Um so this is the formula, we already have the minor, so we can calculate the cofactors using this formula. So I'm gonna talk about i plus j. So the i is always 1. The first j for m11 is always 1. Then it increases by 1 as you go down from m11 up to m33. So what I mean here is that for i plus j, let me give an example of m11. 
we'll start by 1 plus 1 for M11. Then as you go down, M12 will have 1 plus 2. So J is increased by 1. M13 will be 1 plus 3. Down up to M33, where, which is the last minor. So you should be having this as the formula for finding the cofactors. A11, the A stands for cofactors. So 11 is equals to negative 1 power 1 plus 1 times M11. M is the minor. A12 is equals to negative 1 power 1 plus 2 times M12. A13 up to M. All the way up to A33 are the cofactors. So we're back here and we're going to use... This formula to calculate the cofactors of the values of A that we have. So A11 will be negative 1, 1 plus 1 times M11, which was, what do you have? 2. So our M11 was 2, so we multiply by 2. Then uh, we'll have negative 1 power, 1 plus 1 is 2 times 2. So negative 1 power 2, it's like, Negative 1 times negative 1. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So a negative times a negative is a positive 1. So 1 times 2. Our answer is uh, 2. So our A11 is 2. That is the cofactor. Then move to cofactor A12. Negative 1. Power 1 plus 2 times uh, our M12 for 6. So negative one power three uh, times six is equals to that is negative one times negative one times negative one. So negative times negative is a positive. So times negative one again becomes a negative one times six. Also I wrote here two, so it should be times six. So you'll have a negative 6. So when you have a power that is an even number, our answer will have a positive, like positive 1. When it's an odd number, like let's say 3, 5, we'll have a negative 1. As then, so like negative 1, power 2, negative 1, power 4, power 6, our answer will have, like will be 1. When it's negative 1 power 7, negative 1 power 3, our answer will have a negative 1. So here we have an even number. So that will be 1. All even numbers transcend into a positive 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, A21 is equals to negative 1, 1 plus 4. You see the J keeps on increasing. Then our M21 was 3. Uh, so it's equals to negative 1. Power 5 times 3. So it's an odd number. So we'll have a negative 1 times 3. So that is negative 3. Then A22 is equals to negative 1, 1 plus 5 times our M22 is 0 is equals to negative 1 power 6 times 0. So it's an even number, the power, so it will. So it should be a 1 times 0, which gives us 0. Sorry, I wrote negative 1. Uh, A23, but the answer is still 0. So A23 have a negative 1 power 1 plus 6 times negative 3 so that is a uh, negative 1 power 7 that will be negative 1 because we learn negative 1 times negative 1 up to 7 it will have a negative 1 times negative 3 1 6 3 we move to a 31 negative 1 1 plus 7 times we have to check m 31 negative 1 equals to negative 1 Power 8, that's an even number. So once we'll have a positive 1 times negative 1 is equals to negative 1. Then we go to 832. Sorry. Negative 1 plus 8 plus negative 1 power 1 plus 8 times negative 3. 
as it goes to negative 1 power 9 times negative 3 so that's an odd number it will be a negative 1 times negative 3 that will be positive 3 then a 33 is equals to negative 1 1 plus 9 times negative 5 We'll have a negative 1 power 10 times negative 5 is equals to, that's an even number, so it's a positive 1 times negative 5. Our answer is negative 5. So from the minus, we go to find the cofactors, and here are the values of the cofactors. And the symbol for cofactors is a here, a11 up to a33. And so I have written them besides the values like this. And from here, we can create the matrix, how they're supposed to be in matrix form. So matrix of the cofactors is... so that is the matrix of the cofactors but that wasn't our question our question was compute the adjoint of a and that's like the classical adjoint and we say the classical adjoint of a square matrix of a which we denote by adjoint a is a transpose of the matrix of cofactors of a and we already have the matrix of the cofactors so we need to find the transpose of the matrix of the cofactors in order to find the classical adjoint so adjoint, classical adjoint of A is the transpose of the values that we have there as the matrix of the cofactors. Transposing simply means changing the rows to become columns and columns to become rows. So whatever we have as the rows will become the columns and the columns will become the rows. So 2, negative 6 and 1 are, is the first row. It will become the first column like that the second row become the second column and the third row become the third row become the third column and that is the classical adjoint so that is our answer so that's it so guys remember when we were starting we started by finding the minus of the values of a then we found the cofactors of the values of a then we did from the cofactors we got the matrix of the cofactors and then to find the classical adjoint we transposed the matrix of the cofactors that we had and that was our answer so the next question is uh we should work out a adjoint a that simply means like we multiply the matrix a with ad matrix adjoint a so that's that so we rewrite the values of a the matrix form let me check one three two two one 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 zero two so it is one three two two one 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 zero two and then well, we check adjoint a we're supposed to do the multiplication so we have two negative three let me try and cram Uh, let me confirm if I've written the correct thing. Negative 5, 3. I think that is a messed up. Negative 5. Yeah, you have to confirm if we continue. So we're supposed to do the multiplication. So we're supposed to multiply the two uh, matrices. And from that, we'll get A adjoint A. 
as our answer so if you guys can remember those who've been here we've done a topic of matrix multiplication and i advise like if you're hearing the word for the first time you could go check my first video but let me let me go ahead and explain what you're going to do let me label this side row one row two row three so these are the values for a and adjoint a so well, let me label here column one column two column three because i'm using to explain so what you're going to do we're going to multiply row one with all columns in adjoint a so that's what i'm gonna do uh multiplying with all columns in adjoint a so let me rewrite what i want to do so I'm just rewriting so that I work out uh, on a clear space that everyone can see and understand. So row one, uh, I'm going to multiply with all columns on this side. Then row two, again, with all columns in adjoint A. Row three, again, with all columns in adjoint A. So I'm going to start with row one. I'm going to multiply row 1 with column 1, then row 2 with column 2, then row 3 with column 3. So we start row 1 times column 1. That will be 1 times 2 plus 2 times negative 6 plus 1 times 1. I will have 2 plus negative 12 plus 1 so that will have 2 minus 12 plus 1 that will be 2 plus 1 minus 12 that's 3 minus 12 will have negative 9 so that's for row 1 times column 1 then move to row Still at row 1 uh, times column 2. We are done with column 1. So 1 times negative 3. So 1 times negative 3, 2 times 0, plus 1 times 3, negative 3 plus 0, plus 3, uh, we'll bring 3 before negative, so it's 3 minus 0 plus 0, that's a 0, then we go to row 1 times column 3, So we'll have 1 times negative 1, like, plus 2 times 3, plus 1 times 5. There were all supposed to be negative, I mean, damn, 1 times negative 5. At least I've found because we would have messed up real time. So that's 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1 plus 6 minus 5. That will be 6 minus 5 minus 1. That is a 0. So we have negative 9, 0, and 0. Then we'll move to row 2 and multiply by all columns in adjoint A.
so it will be three times negative three plus one times zero plus zero times three So three times negative three is negative nine plus zero plus zero. So we have negative nine. Then move to row two times column three. You have three times negative one plus one times three plus zero times negative five. So here we'll have 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 3 plus 0 times negative 5 is 0. So that will be 3 minus 3 plus 0, that is 0. So we have 0, negative 9, and 0 as a second row of answer. Then uh, we move to row 3. Multiply by all columns in adjoint A. So row 3 times column 1 2 times 2 plus 1 times negative 6 plus 2 times 1 So that will be 4 Times two is four minus six because one times negative six plus two that is six minus six zero then row three times column two two times one two times negative three sorry plus one times zero 1 times 0 plus 2 times 3. So we'll have negative 6 plus 0 plus 6. That is 6 minus 6 plus 0. That will give me a 0. Then we move to root 3 times column 3. Two times negative one plus one times three plus two times negative five. Two times negative one is negative two plus three minus ten. So that will be 3 minus 2 minus 10. That is 3 minus 12. So that is negative 9. So we have 0, 0 and negative 9. So right there. And that is our answer for when we multiply A and adjoint E. So that is the answer. Next. Uh... We are supposed to work out adjoint A times A. So we're going to write the already written there. Uh, so we're going to do the same. Uh, we write adjoint A comes in front because now it's not A adjoint, it's adjoint A. Eh? Then we have A. So we're going to multiply row 1 with all columns in A, row 2 with all columns in A, and row 3 with all columns in A. Yeah, the all columns there. So let me label the columns column one, column two, and column three. So row one with all columns in E. By all columns, I mean column one, column two, column three. So let's start row one times column, column one. Uh, we'll have 
have two times one plus negative three times three plus negative one times two. So you have two plus minus nine minus nine plus minus two. So in positive terms are negative is a negative. Positive terms are negative. So we have two minus nine minus two. So two minus two is zero. So you are remaining with negative nine. Then we move to row one times column two. So two times two plus negative three times one plus negative one times one four plus minus three plus minus one. So we have four minus three minus one. We have four minus it's like four minus four, so it's zero. Then we move to row one times column three. So two times uh, one plus negative three times zero plus negative one times two. So we have two plus th negative three times zero is zero plus negative two so that's two minus two once is zero so we have negative nine zero and zero then we'll do for row two and then row three row two that we multiply by all columns in a so row two times column one Let me first write the answers that you had gotten. Negative nine zero zero. That's negative six times one. Zero times three. So I have negative six plus zero plus six so that's six minus six ounces is zero then we go to row two times column two we'll have negative six times two plus zero times one plus three times one We have negative 12 plus 0 plus 3 so that's negative 9 then we go to row 2 times column 3 so we'll have negative 6 times 1 0 times 0 3 times 2 Negative 6 plus 0 plus 6, that's 6 minus 6 times is 0. So we have 0, negative 9, and 0. Then we move to row 3 and multiply with all columns in A. So we start with row 3 times column 1, which will be 1 times 1 plus 3, 3 times 3. Plus negative five times ten. One plus nine minus ten. So that's ten minus ten. That's zero. Then we go to row three times column two. One times two plus three times one. Plus negative five times one. So that will be two. Plus three minus five is five minus five. Answer is zero. 
Then I move to column row three times column three. It will be one times one plus three times zero plus negative five times two. One plus zero minus ten because positive times a negative is a negative. So we have negative ten plus one that's negative nine. So we have zero zero negative nine. And that is our answer for agent A times A. So I'm just writing it there. So if you check the answer of agent A times A and A times agent A, our answers are coming out the same. So you see negative 9000 zero, 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 negative 9 that is the same as agent A times A, uh, which is that also. So I've written it here, the answers, you see they are the same. So when the answer are the same of a agent a and agent a times a this is a normal matrix it's called a normal matrix when the answers turn out the same so that's that so let's get to see the next question uh is if we're supposed to find the determinant of a so let's jump into it so i've written the values of a of the matrix a so we're gonna use the first row to calculate the determinant and we're gonna cancel each row and column where one two and one will be i have a video that i had uh, shown you how to calculate the determinant it's the first video so get to find it and go through it so i've written there so we're gonna start with one. Then we cancel each row and column where one stands. So we'll remain the one zero, one two. That's a two times two matrix. So we're supposed to find the determinant of the two times two matrix. And also we we'll write again and the first sign that you're using here is a minus. So where 2 is, we're going to cancel each row and column. So remain 3, 0, 2. two. So if you see the determinant, the value that you're using to cancel the row and columns in case here 2 will be outside. And then we're in the Third part, so you see the first sign is a negative, then you go to a positive. So cancel each row and column. Remember the two, one, three, one, and two, one. So we have a two times two matrix, and there's a formula for calculating a two times two matrix. The formula is uh, so where there is one there that's a11 a12 then there is a21 and a22 so we're gonna multiply a11 times a22 formula of the determinant of calculating the determinant is a11 times a22 minus a12 times a21 so we're going to use this to calculate the determinant of all the three parts. So we'll have 1 times 2, 1, or the one that is outside then, 1 times 2, let me put a bracket there, minus 0 times 1, that will be 1 into 2 minus 0, so that's 2. 
then minus 2 in brackets 3 times 2 minus 0 times 2 so that will be minus 2 6 minus 0 so we'll have 2 times 6 is 12 then plus 1 into 3 times 1 minus 1 times 2 is equal to that's uh, 3 minus 2 so that will be plus 3 minus 2 is 1 so 1 times 1 is 1 so we have 2 minus 12 plus 1 so that's 12 minus negative 12 plus 3 so that's negative 9 so our determinant of a is negative 9 so guys we've come to the end of the video if you've learned something please comment down below like share subscribe and if you need a tutor for linear algebra, I got you. And let's meet in the next video. And kindly hit the notification bell for you to always be notified when I'm posting.